Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you how to make another wonderful Hungarian dish, goulash soup, goulash leves. So I'm doing this for Ladislav Hrino, who's requested it, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Ladislav, because uh, I don't speak Hungarian at all. Anyway, I'm glad you requested this because it's probably Hungary's most famous dish, goulash, uh, and it is delicious. Basically it's a, it's a simple beef and vegetable soup, not a stew, um, flavoured with tons of paprika, because Hungarian, and it's delicious, really warming, really comforting, and just what you need for a freezing cold August day in England. Anyway, easy to do, let's do it! Right, ingredients for the goulash. I've got 450 grams of beef, about the same weight of onions, a yellow bell pepper, a red one, 50 grams of lard, two carrots, four cloves of garlic, a bay leaf, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper and a teaspoon of salt, and also a litre of beef stock that's hot. Oh, and also this red stuff, which is fairly crucial, Paprika, sweet paprika, uh, about two tablespoons. And if you can get the authentic Hungarian one, good on you. So first thing to do is peel and chop the onions. It's better if you've got bigger onions than these. I don't know why I've got, I've still got a couple of kilos of these little teeny pointless ones to get through, but you know, they're still onions. So just chop them into bits like that. So that's all the onions chopped. Now I'm going to chop this beef down into smaller cubes. I got this from the supermarket and these, these chunks are way too big for this soup really. Your chunks should be about a centimetre, about half an inch. And that means they'll cook a bit quicker and be, I don't know, I think massive great chunks of beef are just not the right thing for this. Right now I've, I've peeled the garlic and I'm just going to mince it or crush it. So I've melted the lard in a large frying pan on medium heat. I'm going to pop my onions in. Just let those cook for about five to seven minutes till they just start browning. And I apologise for the state of this frying pan. I used it as a tower uh, a couple of days ago when I made biryani and it's got somewhat charred and I can't get it clean. Well it's clean but I can't get it nice and shiny. There we are, they're starting to go brown around the edges. Now I've turned off the heat and I'm going to throw in the paprika and stir that in. The reason, oh smell it, oh wow, <laughs> uh, the reason for turning it off the heat is so that the paprika doesn't burn. Oh, smells amazing. Mm -hmm. and now we'll add the beef and the garlic. I'm going to put the heat back on and we want the beef to basically go brown. And now I'm going to add some of the stock, just enough to cover the beef. And at this point what you would do is uh, transfer it to a large pan, cover it with a lid and let it simmer for at least three hours to get the beef really tender and the onions disintegrated. I haven't got three hours. <laughs> So I'm going to do it in the pressure cooker. I'm going to pop these in the pressure cooker and give it 20 minutes. So the meat is almost cooked and it's time to get on with prepping the various veggies. First thing to do, the red and yellow peppers. Top and tail them and chop them into little bits. So here's the little bits of peppers and now the carrots. Top and tail those. Oops. And peel them and then dice them. And confession time, I'm playing an absolute blinder in the forgetting to tell you about things steaks today. Uh, forgot to tell you you need two potatoes and a can of tomatoes. I think that's a 400 gram can. So you need to peel the spuds and then dice them. The same size as the carrots. Right, pressure cooking done and I've put it into a, a normal pan and I'm just going to try and Fish out a piece of meat and check how cooked it is. That is very cooked. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so finish it off. Add the peppers and the carrots and the spuds and the rest of the stock. 
the bay leaf, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. And don't forget the tomatoes. So in go the tomatoes. If they're not chopped already, you'll need to chop them. And let that simmer away for about half an hour till all the veggies are cooked. So there we are, our luscious goulash. Colourful, warm, ah. That is fantastic. It really is more of a soup than a stew. So we'll serve it with some nice bread, lots of butter, and a dollop of soured cream. And you're laughing. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can get the full recipe on my website, keefcooks.com, and there should be a link kicking around on the screen over there or down there. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Link, link. And uh, talk to me. Leave comments, make requests, keep it civil and friendly, or I will ban you. And thanks for watching, and see you next time. And today I'm going to show you how to make a little bit of it. I'm glad you requested this because it's probably hung, hung, mm, mm, mm. anyway I'm glad you anyway I'm gl